that's what Donald Trump is, isn't he? Always says the wrong thing. Trying to say the right thing, he says the wrong thing. She was Indian all the way, and then all of a sudden she made a turn. And she went, she became a black person. I think somebody should look into that. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Maybe she's got a mask on, Donna. Maybe, really, she's probably white, but she doesn't want to identify as a white person. Let's have a look at him saying it. Oh. Some of your own supporters, including Republicans on Capitol Hill, have labeled Vice President Kamala Harris who is the first black and Asian American woman to serve as vice president and be on a major party ticket as a DEI hire. Is that acceptable language to you? And will you tell those Republicans and those supporters to stop it? How do you, how do you define DEI? Go ahead. How do you define Diversity, it? equity, inclusion. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Is that what your definition? Give <laughs> that me is that. Yeah, oh, is that what your definition is? I mean, why did he even go to speak at a, a, a black, uh, journal, black female journalist convention. If he were, if it, or why did he go unprepared for what? Because obviously he was going to get asked about Kamala Harris, wasn't he? I did, just it's uh, it's weird. Anyway, so he accuses her of being hostile. That is give me a definition the then. Would you give me a definition? Of that? Give me a definition. Sir, I'm asking you a question. No, no, a you very have to direct define question. it. Define the. Define it for me, if you I would. just defined it, sir. Do you believe that Vice President Kamala Harris is only on the ticket because she is a black woman? Well, I can say, no, I think it's maybe a little bit different. So uh, I've known her a long time indirectly, not directly very much. And she was always of Indian heritage. And she was only promoting Indian heritage. I didn't know she was black <laughs> until a number of years ago when she happened to turn black. And now she wants to be known as black. So I don't know, is she Indian or is she black? She is always but identified you know as a black woman. I respect she went to a historically black one. college. I respect either one, but she obviously doesn't because she was Indian all the way. And then all of a sudden she <laughs> made a turn and she went, she became a black person. Just to be clear, sir, do and you I believe think, that I think she's somebody should look into that too when you ask a continue in a very oh, hostile, nasty tone. It's a direct question, sir. Do you believe that Vice President Kamala Harris is a DEI hire, as I, some Republicans I really have don't said? Know. I mean, I really don't know. Could be, could be. There are some, and there are. So he doesn't seem to be able to get his head around the concept that she might be Indian and black. You know, she's mixed race. One of her parents is Indian, and one of her parents is black, Jamaican. You know, that is... It's not hard, is it? It's not rocket science. But he, so, but no, he doesn't seem to be able to get his head around that. He's saying she's always said she was Indian. Now suddenly she's black, but she's not. She's I, I've always known that she was black. Uh, that uh, one of her parents was black and one of her parents was Indian. I don't know what he's talking about. Uh, some of your own supporters, including Republicans on Capitol Hill, have labeled Vice President Kamala Harris, who is the first black and Asian American woman to serve as vice president and be on a major party ticket as a DEI hire. Is that acceptable language to you? And will you tell those Republicans and those supporters to stop it? How do you, how do you define DEI? Go ahead. How do you define Diversity, it? equity, inclusion. Okay, yeah. Go ahead. Is that what your definition? Give that me, is that. that is give me a definition the then. Would you give me a definition DI. of that? Give me a definition. Sir, of I'm that. asking you a question. No, no, a you very have to define question. it. Define the. Define it for me, if you. I would. just defined it, sir. Do you believe that Vice President Kamala Harris is? Define it. Who doesn't even know what it means? <laughs> only on the ticket because she is a black woman. Well, I can say no. I think it's maybe a little bit different. So, uh, I've known her a long time indirectly, not directly, very much. And she was always of Indian heritage, and she was only promoting Indian heritage. I didn't know she was black <laughs> until a number of years ago when she happened to turn black, and now she wants to be known as black. So I don't know, is she Indian or is she black? She is always but identified you know as a black woman. I respect she went to a historically either black one. College. I respect either one, but she obviously doesn't because she was Indian all the way, and then all of a sudden she made a turn and she went, <laughs> she became a black. Person. Just to be clear, sir, oh do you God. believe that I think she somebody is a... should look into that, too, when you ask. I think they should send her off for genealogy testing, shouldn't they? That, you know, according to him, it's, like, uh, it's a bit like the uh, boxers in the Olympics. She needs to take a genealogy test. Is she black or is she Indian? Oh, my God, she was Indian and then she turned black. 
God forbid that she could have always have been half Indian and half black. Oh my God. Do you know, this guy is, he, 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 well, it is funny, but it's not funny, of course. A continue in a very hostile, nasty tone. It's a direct question. And then what he does is he starts on her and says, she's being nasty and aggressive. <laughs> That's what he always does. I've seen him do that a million times, especially with females. He always says, oh, I'm not, or he just refused to answer them. Or if he gets a difficult question or somebody who doesn't think he's like God's gift, like a, a lot of women do, he just switches off and, and starts being hostile towards them. Sir, do you believe that Vice President Kamala Harris is a DEI hire? As some I, I really don't know. Said. I mean, I really don't know. Could be, could be. There are some. And could there are, be. Uh, so, you know, <laughs> what? It's like, so Kamala Harris has said she wants to debate him. He won't debate her. At the moment, he's refusing to debate her, whether he ever will or not, because he wanted to debate joe biden because he knew that he could easily out debate joe biden but i think he'd be struggling to out debate kamala harris personally so but uh just funny he's hilarious he's hilarious <laughs> i think you should I, yeah try it sometimes i think it'd be funny wouldn't it to do it um just just to see what happens so i'm at this tomorrow i might come here and wear trousers and call myself you can identify as anything you want these days anything you like you know it's not a bad thing is it but oh dear me yeah <laughs> Ah, just... anyway so it gets even worse so of course then when i'm sort of looking into that and then of course my son he's he's a good he gives me a lot of um ideas for the, the streams you know things that i think you'll find interesting because he takes an interest you know in politics so i don't know if you knew because i didn't know but you may have known already, but you know he's a uh, vice president who's gone all quiet now, hasn't he? I remember his vice president, J.D. Vance, who thinks that Britain is an Islamist state and uh, who thinks that uh, the trouble with America is it's run by crazy cat ladies like Kamala Harris because she's got no children, though she's got two stepchildren. And he managed to insult half of America, <laughs> even the Republicans, by referring to these crazy cat ladies and the, 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 the crazy cat ladies like Jennifer Aniston, etc., came out in force and condemned what he said. No, I did not know because he's always going on about immigration. You know, the, we watched that video where he was saying uh, immigration is terrible and Britain, look what's happened to Britain, you know, it's been ruined by immigration, blah, de, blah, de, blah. Now, I don't know if you knew or not, but his wife is Indian. So this is his wife. So his wife is Indian. Now, he, he, she has to watch out if she's around Donald Trump, she might turn black or something. <laughs> She's Indian now. She's Indian now, but she might just turn black. You know, you never know, do you, according to Donald. But, oh, my God, it just surprised. I, I was like, what? Because he's so down on immigrants and everything. But, his wife, you know, his wife is Indian. So, um, uh, him, well, Indian heritage. So, almost immediately after Donald Trump, announced jd vance as his running mate white supremacists began attacking jd's wife usher vance now the thing is when you're a racist or when you make inflammatory comments like he's made about um you know immigrants etc now suddenly these white supremacists who probably normally vote republican uh, I found out that his wife is not, you know, not white. So they've started attacking him. So 
it's it's like I'm back in the parallel universe again. What's he doing attacking immigrants? What's he doing making these comments that are inflammatory, you know, that get racists love those comments? He's making those comments and then it turns out now he's getting attacked or his poor wife is getting attacked. You know, and then we've got Donald Trump thinking she might turn black at any moment. <laughs> so they are disparate. So she's Indian heritage and she's a practicing Hindu. They disparaged. Uh, so these white supremacists disparaged the couple's interracial children. So his children are interracial. He's setting them up for racial slurs he's set them up oh my god it's foul what he's done and so one right-wing pundit has questioned whether the guy who has an indian wife would support white identity he's asked for this by his own comments I, honest to god I, when my son told me that his wife was indian i just could not believe it so as the racist comments piled on Trump and Vance have been mostly silent on the subject. So, yeah, he has gone very quiet. Now, of course, Trump has made this stupid thing that he said about Kamala Harris just being Indian and then turning black. Do you know, this, this might happen to uh, JD's wife. She might turn black. I've got him on the water again. I think the water sends me a bit loopy. <clears throat> dear me it's just tickle me do you know what i think it is it's after all the reporting on all the bloody all the horrible things about that stabbing and everything those stabbings uh it's just a relief to talk about donald trump really uh so on friday though vance finally acknowledged that his wife is being targeted although he stopped short of condemning white supremacy oh my god because he can't he can't he cannot condemn white supremacy because he's, they've lost off their votes then from that republican party look i love my wife so much she told megan kelly on her show i love her because she's who she is obviously she's not a white person and we've been accused and attacked by some white supremacists over that. But I just love Usha. She's such a good mum. She's such a brilliant lawyer and I'm so proud of her. And he noted that her experience has given me some perspective on the way in which it's really hard for working families in this country. Shut up. So don't, no, uh, he doesn't care about Muslims because he was attacking the Muslims from the UK and everything. It's an Islamist state, etc. Uh, but obviously now he's got to backtrack because he's now getting attacked by white supremacists or his wife and his children that are interracial, that are a mixed race. Terrible. Obviously she's not a white person, but I love Usha. She's such a good mom. Honestly, this is such a weird way to respond to white supremacist attacks on your Indian American wife. Pathetic. I agree. Look, I, I love my wife so much. I love her because she's who she is. Obviously, she's not a white person, and we've been acute, attacked by some white supremacists over that. But I, I just, I love Usha. I, she's such a good mom. Obviously, she's not a white person. Oh, my God. What does she see in him? If she's a lawyer, she must be an intelligent woman. What does she see in him? My God, what what does she see in this guy? Mom. Oh, that's it. Let me play it again. Look, I, I love my wife so much. I love her because she's who she is. Obviously, she's not a white person, and we've been accused, <laughs> attacked by some white supremacists over that. But I, I just, I love Usha. I, she's such a good mom. Oh, God. Just gets worse. Just gets worse. Anyway, or better, whichever way you want to look at it, because 
I just think all this, it's not going to go down well, is it? I wonder what the, um, you know, what the polls are saying now. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, she shouldn't worry. She might be Indian now, but she could turn black at any moment. <laughs> According to Donald Trump, people can just turn black. Oh, dear, dear. Anyway. It's just unbelievable. Yeah, how did he pull Usha? You know, she's so far right. She must, there must have been drugs involved. Because it, she's so far... Oh, God, my hair's going all weird. She's so far above his... Um, you know, he's punching so far above his weight, I think, with Usha. What does she see in him? He must have some secret thing that we don't know about. I don't know. I think sometimes women feel sorry for these men because uh, I would just think, you know, just hearing him talk, I would just think, oh, my God, he's an idiot. But uh, some women uh, like to sort of baby these men. You know, I don't know. Maybe they think they can make them better or help them out or whatever i don't even know maybe he's got a really nice side to him uh but uh, maybe he'll turn black could that be good we could end up with another black president because maybe when he, if he became if donald trump becomes president he might just turn black <laughs> i mean he's at the moment he's orange but he might just turn black if he becomes president you know, according to him, people can do that. Can just turn black. Dear me. Okay. So, I, I, that, I think that's it now. I think so. We've, uh, I think that was a bit lighter. I mean, they're serious things, uh, but hopefully, you know, you've got to have a, you've got to be. You've got to laugh or you cry when you hear with some of these things. But just, you know, I could wake up in the morning and maybe I'll be black. I'd quite like to see what it's like being black for a while. <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, dear. Crazy. It's a crazy world. It's certainly a crazy world. Let's just, I'm just going to look at the news. I'm almost frightened to put Sky News up. Just because God knows what what else might have happened. Um, I mean, there has been some good news today, hasn't there? Because, uh, oh, let me just have a look at this. Well, there's good news that the two little girls, two of the little girls came out of hospital. Um, what does it say? Yeah, apparently a network of anonymous TikTok accounts is attempting to cause unrest in the UK. In That doesn't surprise me. But, uh, of course, uh, the guy's been named now Axel. Oh, another strange thing that was in the news. Um, anyway, no, I'm not going to do I've been on too long now. I don't want to go through that. There was another strange thing that I will talk about in another video. Um, but, yeah. I'm going to finish there. I'm going to leave you with that. And uh, I'll, I'll definitely be on at some point tomorrow, uh, depending on what's happening. I don't know what time. But, um, yeah. Oh, right. Oh, that I remember that film. I remember that film, but I don't remember it, if you know. I mean, I've heard of it, Finian's Rainbow, but I can't remember. Oh, that's right, Heather. You were in the stage show. Yeah, yeah, you did. You sent me the photos. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, you did. You were in the... Yeah. You won't be able to allow uh, you won't be allowed to do that now because it was a black face, wasn't it? Unless they had a you know a real black person to play or, or did they? I can't remember now in your photo. Uh, but yeah, you sent me that photo, I remember now. <laughs> oh dear me. Oh, it's a mad world, isn't it? It's a mad world, it's a mad crazy world. Uh you know, but who knows? Yeah, it might just turn black, just 
Oh, God. Crazy. So, I might, actually, I'm tempted, sorry, I'm tempted before I go to just have a look at Truth Social, see what Donald's been saying. Now, last time when Donald got banned from Twitter, oh, uh, I did miss him a little bit because you're always sort of looking out, you know, because he's so daft. And he says, but of course it's serious because he was a president of the United States. But because, um, you know, I did miss him when he got banned from Twitter because you're always thinking, oh, God, what's he going to say now? Oh, he's slagging off Kamala. It's all attacking Kamala. All his posts. Let's have a No, I mean, I know they've got an election coming up and, you know, electioneering is important, but I don't know, it's just very, uh, it's all very aggressive, isn't it? It's all about Kamala. Oh, my God. So, ABC News' Rachel Scott is a rabid anti-Trump liar an anti-white racist who is attacking President Trump for speaking the truth about Kamala Harris. Rachel Scott, that's that interview we just watched. Rachel Scott malicious, maliciously attacked President Trump over claims that Kamala Harris is a DEI hire while ignoring the words that came out of the mouth of her own messiah, Joe Biden, who said, to me, the values of diversity, equality and inclusion are literally the core strengths of America. That's why I'm proud to have the most diverse administration in history. But well, how is that bad, what he's saying? Yeah. There you go. So it's going to be all like he'll, he'll, he'll have given up probably on um, Joe Oh, gosh. I have a copy of Kamala Harris's birth certificate. Nowhere on her birth certificate does it say she is black or African. She is not black and she never has been. But she is the descendant of slave owners. There you go. So not only is she not black, though he did... Uh, he did say she'd turn black, but she's not. No, she's not black. And not only that, she's um, a, a descendant of slave owners, even though her father is Jamaican. Oh, my God. This is just getting silly, isn't it? Oh, Donald's going to keep men out of women's sports, so he's made his comment. Let's have a look at this one. Solid, straight right hand. I think that was it. That's yeah. it. The fight's over. Forty-six seconds. Anyway, he's going to keep men out of women's sports. No tax on social security for seniors. No tax on tips. Yeah, I do quite like reading his um, his social media. I don't know why. Just there's always something interesting on there. Okay, I'm going now. I'm definitely going now. <laughs> uh, so thank you very much for all being members. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here with me. I'll see you really soon in the next video. And until then, may your God go with you. Uh, and thank you, Mello. You're very kind. You're very supportive. Thank you for the super sticker. Cheers. <laughs>